So if you can cuttle fish, I'll come on to that in a second, but what I find is a lot of chefs actually buy sea bass, they buy turbot, they buy the most expensive prime ingredients and chop it up and cook it. Now, that's all well and good, and any fool can do that. But what I try and concentrate on is cheaper cuts of fish and meat. Not only do they take a certain degree of skill to cook them, but they also taste far nicer, I believe. One of which is cuttlefish. I don't know if you can see this. It's a really ugly looking beast, as you can see. Now, the first thing I need to do is just to pull the head out. Now, if I just pull the head out, like that, you can see all the gubbins comes out. And that is what you end up with, something like that. <laughs> it's fabulous. We'll wash that in a second. And just take out the insides. You don't have to be too prescriptive here. All I'm worried about is just getting out all the innards. And you can see there, that is the ink from the tack itself. Okay, it looks pretty gory, doesn't it? <laughs> but, but it's worth it. Now, your fishmonger will do this for you, uh, quite happily. Um, but I like to do it because then I know that it's all done properly. And you don't have to be too worried about it. All you have to do is make sure you wash out all that inky black gunk. Let's look at and just rinse off the outside and fill out of water and get all the gunk out. And don't worry too much because we're going to take it all out later on anyway. So wash it like that. Get the head. It does look pretty gross. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but it's beautiful. Now, this is the thing to take out as well. This is called the beak. This is what the thing eats with. And if you just there, now it comes. And that is the sharp part. So basically what it does is it eats like that. that. There we are. Don't need that bit. And again, just rinse it off. Take out the inside of the head. Like that. Give it a good rinse. Let's let me try. Again, the fishmonger will do it for you, but you know, what's the problem? It's only a bit of fish. Says he. Right, back over to the stove. There it is done, I'll just show you. Nice and clean, look at that. A bit there, but don't worry about that, that will cook off later anyway. Right, this is a two stage process of cooking. Of cooking anyway. What we need to do is first of all, put some olive oil melting in the pan. I just need to crush up four or five cloves of garlic. You don't even have to crush them because you're going to cook it for two hours, but I like to. And if you can see the pan's nice and hot, garlic, straight in there, and it can feel the smell aroma coming out already. To that, I'm also going to add one onion. You don't need a lot, you just need a little tiny bit. And I'm not even really going to be bothered to chop this up too well. I'm just going to chop it into three or four pieces. And it goes in like that. Nice spinning there. So the onions have softened very slightly, and then the fish goes in it. The tentacles. Here we go. And also the body. Like that. I'm also going to add generous couple of pinches dried oregano. Italians very use, very rarely use fresh oregano because it doesn't have much flavour. So you can put that into there. And about a hundred mils sherry vinegar. A nice big clump of basil, just chuck it in. Don't have to be too precise about that. Half a vegetable stock cube, organic if possible. A little bit of sea salt. Sprinkling of pepper, black pepper ground or whatever. Just stir up. <coughs> Lid on. And pop it into a preheated oven. Like that. And cook it for about two and a half to three hours. 
this should is has to be cooked. I just want to show you the difference. It was hot. You can see this, but I'll lift it up and show you. This is what it should look like at the end. Now, what I need to do is tip this out and strain, strain off the juice to get all the meat out. Tip it into there. The darkness comes from the shave vinegar, so it's delicious. What we need to do is just shake that off. And then carefully pick off the meat, as you'll see. That's the head. Looks delicious. Into there, don't want that bit there. The innard. And as you can see, the meat will just fall off the bone. It's very hot. Like that. Okay, into there. And there, that's the bone you give to your budgie. <laughs> okay. That's what you see on the beach. Right, next part's really simple. I'm going to chop up the mixture first, and again, it is quite hot, and what we need to do is just to make sure we get any dark pieces off, like that bit there, and it will just cut up really, really easily. It's so tender and soft. The meat of this is beautifully white. And delicious, smells nice. I quite like the crispy, crunchy bits. And just cut that up. Very hot. I just cut the tentacles just into sections. And so just cut through. Like that. Keep going round. A bit of dark pigment. Get that rid of that. Cut straight through. It's just like cooking and eating octopus, really. There's no difference. You just chopping up and it smells absolutely fabulous. Get this into the bowl. And I'll show you where to finish this. Really, really very, very simple. Right. Chopped cuttlefish. To that I'm gonna add cherry tomatoes or quartered small vine tomatoes. Again, as many as you, uh, as you like, there's about, I suppose, the equivalent of say 10 or 12 cherry tomatoes there. I'll just pop them on top. Peas, cooked peas or broad beans. The recipe says broad beans, but peas are absolutely fine. I'll put a little sprinkling of sugar onto there, about a teaspoon and a half. The sea salt. Plenty of pepper. Right, I'll put a little touch of dried oregano into there. I'll roughly chop one small packet of basil and I'm just going to fold it up and run the knife through like that. On top, it's as simple as this. Uh, finally, a little slug of sherry vinegar. I suppose about two or three tablespoons, equal amount of olive oil, don't need much, and just fold that through, excuse me, with a spoon like that. Now, if you can leave this overnight, all the better. The acid will carry on overnight, almost marinating it, cooking it down. It smells absolutely fabulous. The way to serve it is dead simple. I just must get a plate. Got some little gem lettuce here. I'm just going to cut into wedges. Chuck them in the bowl. That, that would be too precise. So here I've got some rocket. Again, just a little bit of that onto there. This will feed four adults easily. Like that. Finally, spoon over, cut off your salad, and eat it warm, it must be warm, like that. I'll put it on there, 
just bring it over the top. It is a simple. What is that? There it is. Cuttlefish with broad beans or peas, tomatoes, and sherry vinegar. Delicious.